There's a storm coming And the leaves they turn to gold Like they did with you those summers ago Hey everyone, it's Natalie. Welcome to my channel. Today I am sharing with you some cleaning motivation. I am getting through my fall checklist of bigger cleaning tasks that I do seasonally. Some of these things are like an every six month sort of thing. I have two waves of deep cleaning that I go through, um, one in the springtime, usually one in like October in the fall time. And that is what I'm sharing with you today, along with some other like daily or weekly tasks that I do because they need to be done and I'm cleaning today anyway. There's a lot to get done. And usually when I do a big cleaning day, I set a crock pot of food out, I do a freezer meal or I do a home chef meal and they've made it even easier now with their fresh and easy line I have an oven ready meal that I'm going to be sharing with you for dinner tonight so thanks to home chef for sponsoring a small portion of this video a little bit later on but as for now I have so much to get done and I am so glad that you guys are here with me to do it so let's roll up our sleeves and get cleaning if you are watching this video while you're cleaning then drop this emoji in the comments it's always fun to see who's cleaning alongside of me. I love providing motivation, but honestly, your comments on these videos give me so much motivation to make more. So let me know in the comments if there is a cleaning task that you specifically do in the fall time. And keep watching because I'm gonna share some of mine with you. Okay, so to kick off my fall cleaning checklist, I'm definitely starting in the kitchen. I feel like the kitchen, the heart of the home, it makes a huge difference when this space is sparkling clean because it seems like the rest of the house follows suit. So I am starting with my kitchen cabinets. I'm gonna give them a really good scrub and wipe down with a magic eraser, which I've just dampened with a little bit of uh, tap water. And I'm going to go and detail any little fingerprints smudge or just gross spots on it. I'm also going to clean the side of my cabinet which gets little splatters on it from when we throw stuff away and also pay some attention to the baseboard around the entire edge of the cabinets underneath them. This makes it look so much cleaner where the floor meets the cabinets. It just makes my cabinets look so much more crisp and I love that especially if you're someone who has white cabinets. Keeping them clean makes a huge difference in your kitchen. Well, I'm working hard, still have a lot more to do, but if you guys are enjoying this video, I would love it so much if you'd give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, I'd love it so much if you would subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. If you are new here and you like what you see, it would mean so much if you would join this community. We have so many amazing, wonderful, supportive people here. I always see you guys encouraging each other in the comments, which just warms my heart so much and it encourages me too. So the next couple of things on my fall cleaning to-do list is to deep clean my oven and my dishwasher. And I'm gonna start with the oven because the dishwasher was still running a load from earlier in the day. And this is a task here at the oven that I do about every three to six months. I do run its cleaning cycle as needed and I take care of like chunkier little explosions or whatever that ends up happening in my oven. My oven is not the kind that you can put foil on the bottom to prevent 
prevent um, spills or anything dropping down. It, it's a convection oven and it very specifically says not to do that. Um, but I love this oven so much and so I need to take care of it. I need to scrub it down with some steel wool and um, really wipe it down, get all of those baked on messes cleaned off as best I can. And then once that's done, I am going to run its own self-programmed cleaning cycle just to finish it off. Where you move, make me blind. You will always be there. There's no doubt in my mind. You will always be there. Heading out to see ya and leave the rest behind. And because I had a little more time left on my dishwasher load, I am going to just clean the top of the oven as well as the microwave above. And for the microwave, I'm actually going to take a cup of water and apple cider vinegar and set that in there for one minute on high. And that will loosen up anything in there that has been dried on, making it super easy just to wipe out the inside and make it sparkling clean. Now that that load from the dishwasher has completed and I've unloaded it, I'm going to take out the bottom rack, which is completely removable, and get in there with some steel wool and really scrub it out like I did the oven. I actually ended up getting a butter knife and kind of chiseling out some of the hard water spots or places where my dishwasher detergent has hardened. And once that is all scrubbed out, I am going to run a very quick and hot rinse cycle on my dishwasher with that rack put back in to just rinse it all away and make it sparkling clean for the next load of dishes that inevitably have to go in there. Next on my fall cleaning list, I am going to pay some attention to our dining area in the kitchen. This is a multifunctional space, so not only do we eat our meals here, but it's also used as our main homeschooling room. And so there are food stains and gunk that doesn't get caught when I am cleaning off the table after every meal. And there's also a bunch of pen marks, marker, paint. Um, Haley has done some artwork with a crayon on the legs of the chairs and the table. And so I'm just going around with a magic eraser and cleaning off all of those marks. I love you, I give you everything you want me to think about it. If I could, I put down the above the table and dust off our chandelier. There was a lot of cobwebs on it. This time of the year we get lots of spiders and so cobwebs are really common. So this is something that I definitely do every fall. Stars and sun all separated, rainbow colors you to paint it. I put it all in a paper bag for you. Have a nice day. 
Another task that I do every six months or so is to launder my curtains. Uh, specifically the curtains in my kitchen because those get super grimy compared to the ones in my living room which I usually wash once a year or so. But the ones in my kitchen, especially the panel that hangs there by where our sliding glass door opens, get so dirty and grimy on the bottom. They're almost like black on the bottom. So I'm just going to take these off the curtain rod and pop them in my washing machine with a little bit of OxyClean sprayed onto the spots that need some extra help. And I'm just gonna put that on the quickest hot cycle. While that load is going in the washing machine, I am going to head into the living room and just do a general tidy. This is definitely not just a seasonal sort of task. This is something that I do every day, multiple times a day, because my kids are constantly making messes, which is okay, because this is their house too, and I want them to live in a house that feels like they're welcome there and not that I'm just always constantly frustrated with the messes that they're making and you guys know I keep it real on my channel I never have a perfectly clean house even though I've spent all day cleaning it sometimes and that's just how it is for a lot of us but I just had to get it under control a little bit more so that I could move on to wiping down the doors in my house so this is my interior doors my front doors lots of grimy fingerprints make their way to it, little scuffs on the bottom um, from where our feet hit it and using a magic eraser, that, like the magic eraser is the star of this cleaning video because I use it on so much, especially like my more seasonal tasks because it does a really good job at breaking down whatever is on the surfaces and especially if you have like white doors, like I was saying before with my white kitchen cabinets, it does an excellent job of making them look fresh and clean and crisp. Another task that needs to be done seasonally is to clean out my window tracks. And this is also including the sliding glass door track. They get so, so grimy. So first of all, I'm going to vacuum out any loose bits that I can, like dead bugs is the main thing that I vacuum up out of these. And then I'm gonna spray it down with some all-purpose spray, use a really coarse brush to scrub out any of the grime and debris, and then take a microfiber cloth with either a pencil or a smaller scrub brush and force it down into the track so that it really wipes it clean. It's very frustrating to me that I can't always get this perfectly clean, so if you have any methods that work really well for cleaning the tracks of your windows or any special tools that you use, please let me know. But even with the adequate job that I did, it looks so much better. And I think having those little grimy spots cleaned all over your house really helps your house feel ready either for the holiday season coming up or just gives it a nice reset. very accomplished for the day. I have more laundry going in there, which I am going to get to the whole mountain of it after dinner. And my kitchen smells really good. These curtains that I washed have a nice scent. I use the Mrs. Myers, the basil scented um, laundry soap. And so now that they're hanging here, they're still just partially damp. Um, they're just making the whole kitchen smell so good. I'm feeling really hungry. Weston just called, he's on his way home, and I am going to make us dinner. And tonight's dinner is sponsored by Home Chef. We're doing the oven ready apple butter pork chops with white cheddar green beans. This looks so good. Home Chef is an awesome meal kit delivery service that I have been using for the past year and a half or so. You guys have seen me share the different meals that we've loved that I've been able to hand pick from the mobile app or on the website. I've been able to customize for different dietary restrictions that I've had over the last year or so. And now Home Chef has a new 
thing. It's their whole new line. It's called Fresh and Easy Meals, and there's oven-ready options, entree salads. There's even grill packs available. It makes the prep and the cleaning of the meal go so much faster. And for a busy day like today, where I'm cleaning the house or working on something or we're going to and from, it's really nice to have such an easy option. Each of these packs has two portions in it, and since we're all eating this tonight, I ordered double, which is really nice to be able to uh, like customize not only what is in the food, but also how much of the food to order. And with the kids getting older, they're eating a lot more lately, and so it's awesome for our growing family to have more portions available. And this is the little recipe card. It's super easy to follow the instructions because they're all laid out for you. And look at how easy this is. Preheat the oven, dump everything in the pan that's provided. So there's like actually a baking dish in here. And then you cook it up, top it with the little extra things for seasoning and for garnish, and voila, you have a meal that didn't take very much to put together at all, and it doesn't take very much to clean up because you can either just rinse this out and recycle it, reuse it for another time, or toss it if you don't have time to do all that. A lot of the time, meal kits that are more on the oven ready or pre-made side skimp or cut corners on nutrition, but not with Home Chef. There's definitely nutritious whole foods in this meal, but it's still really easy to put together. Sometimes when I'm making dinner or putting together lunches for the kids, I feel like Rosie the Riveter on an assembly line. Just one after the other putting stuff together. So I'm gonna put these two portions together. They're exactly the same, super easy to just dump everything in the pan, and then we're gonna dig in. I am so hungry right now. And I seriously need to get the recipe for the Home Chef Seasoned Salt Blend. It's so good. I keep trying to guess what's in it. Take you where you belonged. If I could, I would get something new. Into the newly cleaned oven, these go. Make you feel like you're Dinner is served. Husband's yeah. home. Clean your knife. Mm. Pretty good. You're like the perfect 50s husband. You came home to a clean house and dinner on the table. What does that make me? <laughs> perfect housewife. <laughs> but you can also enjoy a career and all that sorts of stuff too. You go both ways. <laughs> so I normally don't order pork. The last um, Home Chef oven ready one, I switched out the pork for chicken, which is cool that you can do that. Um, but I couldn't resist pork and apple butter. My mom used to make this one. Mm. Mm, it tastes, it tastes. That's really good. Perfect for fall time. Something about apples and pork. It was really good. And those white cheddar um, green beans. So good. Liam's chowing them down. If you guys want to check out Home Chef for yourself, now is a great time. They are running a deal right now where it's $80 off your first four boxes. And that's $20 off each of your first four boxes. So you really can't go wrong because there's free food to be had. You just follow the link in my description box and enter the code NATALIE80 and that will let you guys try a lot of what Home Chef has to offer. Super flexible. I love that you can pause or start and stop we go weeks without ordering but then when I know I'm gonna be super busy or if I have guests coming over if I know I have a lot of stuff that's going on in the week I love being able to go on the website or on the app make my selections and know that dinner is taken care of for a few nights So since dinner was such a breeze to put together and clean up, I have some free time this evening to tackle my huge pile of laundry. And even though this isn't a seasonal task, it is something that needs to be done, so I thought I would share with you some extreme laundry motivation. I would love it if you would do this with me. So grab a basket that needs to be folded or throw a load in the wash and we will tackle this together. I have found my reasons now My burdens left behind I did not know what it would bring Now I'm capable of everything
Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you. It feels so great to have my house reset and nice and sparkling clean, all ready for me to start putting out some more of my seasonal holiday decor. I am super excited for some more clean and decorate with me videos that I have planned for the holiday season. So make sure you're subscribed with your bell button turned on so you don't miss when those go up. If you did enjoy today's video, let me know by giving it a thumbs up and share over on your Instagram if you are tackling any seasonal cleaning tasks or just your everyday stuff that you have to do. Be sure to tag me at Natalie Bennett Vlogs in your Instagram stories and I love reposting what you guys share. It gives me so much inspiration and I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are. Thank you so much for watching this video and spending a little part of your day with me here on my channel. Be sure to check out some of my other videos before you head out and I will catch you later.